If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Some of you that may be watching in the Eastern time zone this morning, it is uh, 6.05. Central time. We welcome to our studio this morning, <laughs> Coosa Valley Academy headmaster Pam Lovelady and Sean Baker, the athletic director. Good morning to you both. Good, Good to have morning. you with us today. Morning. And it is homecoming week at Coosa Valley Academy. Yes, I know it's sir. a special yes. time. Yes. Isn't it? <laughs> Talk Go about Rebels. It, talk about it a little bit. I know yesterday was pajama day. Yes. What is today? Today is character day. Each class gets to decide what they want to do. Like we might have cowboys or mm -hmm. we might have ninjas. It all depends on what the class wants to do today. Sean, what will you drip, be dressed as today? <laughs> I think I'm just going as a teacher. <laughs> just dressed as a teacher. <laughs> now, uh, Pam, you've been the headmaster there for 17 years. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Wow, fantastic. And, and Sean, you, uh, you you graduated from there. I did. And uh, went to college and came back and have been a teacher there for how long? Uh, about 27 years, I think. It's 27th oh, year. You ought to have year. it right by now. Sure. Yes, yeah, we do. Yeah. What's so special about Coosa Valley Academy? I think as a parent, um, 25 years ago, I decided on Coosa Valley Academy for my children. Mm -hmm. um, it is a Christian based school. It is a smaller school. It is a community school that we all become come together and become a family. Um, it's a place that you can take your children, know that they're going to receive a great education uh, using the Becca Christian curriculum, um, be in a safe environment, and be loved by everyone. That's, and, quite, a, that's quite a description. It's a, it, uh, it's a wonderful place. Yeah. Sean, what sold you on the school? Um, of course, it's in my hometown, mm -hmm. and uh, that, you know, coming back to it, I didn't have, you know, when I graduated college, didn't have intentions, you know, come back to teach or anything. But when I started teaching, it was, it like, you know, Pam said, it was home. It feels like home when you're there. It's about family and about, you know, uh, you can enjoy the small atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, the, the being able to know the parents, know the you know kids, and, uh, and that really brings you back and makes you want to. We'll stick around. Yeah. Pam, it's almost like yesteryear, isn't it? Yes, it is. It yeah. is like a, a wonderful, true Mayberry. Yeah. <laughs> no wow. locks on our lockers. Yeah. Just, you know, as a mom, before I took the job, I taught at the Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind. Uh, I would leave them early in the morning at 7 a.m. and pick them up at 4. I never, not one day, worried about my children. Fantastic. Uh, it is uh, homecoming week at Coosa Valley Academy in Harpersville, Alabama. Uh, let's talk about academics this morning. So important yes. to, to our children. And, and, and first of all, uh, what, what are the grades for Coosa Valley Academy? We have uh, K-3 mm -hmm. through 12th grade. Um, we are a Blue Ribbon School for the Alabama Independent School Association. That means that not only are our SATs above average, but our ACTs, uh, you know, go far beyond the average ACT. We have a lot of community service mm -hmm. that's included in that blue ribbon, which consists of we do things for Harpersville community as well as the Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind, where we adopt children for Christmas. Our whole entire school takes part in that and makes sure that they have the Christmas that they really want. So we deliver those gifts. Um, we're blue. We're also a bicentennial school this year. We've been uh, uh, selected as the uh, one of the Alabama bicentennial schools where we promote our community, our school, and our state. So academically, we are solid. We offer three diploma tracks, a standard, advanced, and advanced honors. We also do dual enrollment with um, Central Alabama Community College, uh, the University of Alabama, and Troy University. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were one of the pilot programs for Troy University's dual enrollment accelerate program. Mm -hmm. So we are kind of um, work a lot with Troy to enhance all of the opportunities for our students. Sean Baker, who's the athletic director there, what about classes that you teach, Sean? Uh, I teach uh, history classes. Uh, mostly the high school. Um, actually, I used to teach junior high a while back, and now I'm back to this year. I got a, a junior high again. Uh, but uh, most of the classes I teach are uh, history classes, and you know, they're really good kids. They have they're small mm -hmm. classes, so you get a lot of attention. And you know, all of our 
uh, academic classes, you're not just a number. Uh, you're going to get. How special is that to have the ratio yeah. of small classes? It is. It, that is really important in this day and age where there's so many people, you know, a lot of schools are so big, uh, you get kind of lost. And this uh, really helps you if you've, you know, if you don't have much of a chance to get behind or anything like that because you do get help. You can, you know, you, and mm-hmm. most of the kids feel very comfortable about saying, you know, hey, help me out a little bit today. Mm-hmm. I got to show me this or, you know, I'm not understanding it, and you have time for that. You're not just, we've got to move on kind of thing. You know. uh, the number of students that we have on roll there uh, this year? Uh, 160. Wow. Mm-hmm. you talking about one-on-one. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. Uh, and it's a wonderful opportunity for us to, you know, know each child mm-hmm. by their name, by their abilities, by their limitations, to understand, you know, the whole child. Like, for example, if they're having a bad day, we know it. And that's a wonderful thing for us uh, as a parent and as an administrator. You know, we we are their family. And uh, sometimes they depend on us to be a mentor for them. Um, You know, sometimes they may not want to talk to their parents. Mm -hmm. They may want to talk to us. Um, Sean Baker has got a, oh my goodness, a wonderful following. Uh, mm-hmm. People that have gone 20 years ago or graduated always comes back to see Mr. Baker. <laughs> and um, that is a wonderful feeling to open the door sure to one is. of our former students. And they said, can I see Mr. Baker? Wow. So um, that is a blessing to us to have him and his family. His uh, wife teaches there and his um, father is basically developed our award-winning art program and he has all he has just opened the world to art for students for almost 50, 40 years now wow. so Pam Lovelady who's <laughs> the headmaster at Coosa Valley Academy and Sean Baker the athletic director and teacher there at Coosa Valley Academy as well in Harpersville Alabama uh, talk this morning a little bit about it, it with the with the student teacher ratio uh, and and the numbers of the school. Now, the school's been here since what? Oh, uh, this is our 49th year. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So it's no stranger to the community. Oh, no. <laughs> but it, it, it has to be a labor of love for the parents of these students. Yes. Yeah, it is. We, I mean, we have a lot of uh, parents that are active mm-hmm. that helps out. Um, plus, it's amazing to me every year how many parents still come and help out after the kids have graduated, oh, yeah. you know, they'll come back and they're still, um, you know, last week was our first home football game and I had, you know, a couple parents whose uh, children and grandchildren already graduated, yet they're up there helping us get ready and get the field ready and do things like this because they're still part of that community, you know, and, that, and they feel part of that mm-hmm. school. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's still home for them. The love of students, the, you know, they love our school and they love children mm-hmm. and they just keep coming back to help us. Wow. So we love it. Homecoming at yes. Coosa Valley Academy this week, and all the alums will be back, and mm-hmm. it'll be party time for sure. And uh, uh, Pam, take just a couple of minutes and talk to this audience, audience all across the state of Alabama, about the pros of this type of education, uh, including education from Coosa Valley Academy. Okay. Um, Coosa Valley Academy, right here. Coosa Valley Academy offers a tremendous amount of academic opportunities for our students. First of all, they they, you know, they can start when they're three, so they can go ahead and start the Becca Christian curriculum, which is a very advanced phonic type program in reading, advanced math, and from there they can go in to, of course, our regular academic first through 12th, which offers a lot of 101, a lot of individual assistance if it's needed, and also to push the children to another level. Our classes being uh, smaller, and also, you know, you have to uh, fulfill all the requirements to come to Coosa Valley Mm -hmm. Academy. For example, uh, under drug testing, uh, GPA, et cetera, et cetera. So our students that come, they are uh, encouraged, of course, by their teachers and their parents to achieve all their academic goals. I think one thing very important for me as a parent and an educator is that we educate the whole child. Not only do we educate them academically, but we build self-confidence. We build uh, wonderful um, 
God-loving students that become God-loving and leaders in our community is for as Christian leaders, which is needed very much as well in our community as is going into our colleges. So I think that is the most important thing for us at Coosa Valley is to educate, develop, and love the full child and get them prepared for our to go out into the world and be an example to others. All right. Sean, what else is going to be happening this week for homecoming? <laughs> well, let's see. We have some activities each night, but we're getting ready. Uh, we have Russell Academy coming from Meridian, Mississippi to play us. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's this excited. This is eight team football, right? Eight team okay. eight man football. Eight man football. Yeah, this is our uh, first year at eight man, so we're getting ready for yeah. them. We're kind of, they're doing really well. We, uh, uh, we're we one and one right now. We won our first one, lost the second one, a nail biter. But, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. It was great. It was great. Thing. It was good, good games. And so our kids are doing well, and, you know, other teams have bragged on our players this year. And so we're looking forward to it and we're getting excited. So you've got special dress days every day every of the weekend? Day. Yeah, they're going to do, like, they're going to do, let's see, they got, uh, like she said, the character day today. Of course, one day we'd have everybody that wears their favorite college t-shirt. Right, right. Of course, Friday's going to be Rebel know, spirit day. days. We all got to get our CVA gear out to wear, so. Did you, did y'all participate in the rolling of the school? Oh, have you seen it? I it saw is, that. It is absolutely beautiful. It, it is. is. It, it is. It is. Um, <laughs> We, that is a tradi tradition at our school. Um, one of my seniors called me and said, Miss Pam, we're going to roll the sh school now. Is it okay? And <laughs> they don't enter the school. They don't do any damage to the school. They just love doing it. And it was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, yesterday morning, uh, the uh, police chief, which is our resource officer, um, to uh, patrol well, the school. You got everybody involved, yeah. didn't you? But yeah, patrol the school and, and made sure everybody was safe and, and um it's just a wonderful thing that they've done for Sean almost years. 50 years. Yeah. So um, we allow them to do that. I know that maybe not all parents agree with that, but um, it's closely monitored and the cameras on them. So they're having a lot of fun out there. Yeah, but so, and they help us clean it up. So. Uh, somebody's got to do it. Right? Right. Yeah. Uh, talk about the financial aspect of being a part of Coosa Valley Academy as a student. The financial aspect, and even as a parent? Mm -hmm. okay. What responsibilities that a parent may have as far as their child enrolling in Coosa Valley Academy? Okay, it is a private school, which is a corporation. Mm -hmm. We In 1970, they, they formed a corporation. And so uh, when you come into our school, you, be, you uh, apply for membership, and the board approves as a families as well as the students. So you have a membership fee to become a member mm -hmm. there and that allows you to have a voting right. We have a board of trustees of 20 people that are in our communities in which we serve Talliga County, Shelby County, St. Clair County, and even Coosa County students. So they come from all over. So as far as a financial Part, they do pay tuition and they pay book fees on mm -hmm. um, that enable us to uh, continue our school to um, operate it efficiently and to give them the academic boost that they need. Um, we are very fortunate that we are a private school that does not have any uh, debt. We're totally debt free. So hey. every, <laughs> everything that we have is paid for. And that's a wonderful blessing. Um, so we can uh, focus on the children. We're also very blessed if we, you know, if we have fundraisers, we have a lot of participation with that. And we have a very strong PTA program that um, provides a lot of things mm -hmm. extra for our students. For example, uh, smart boards in every room, all the technology needed, and anything we ask for, they work hard to get it for us. All right. Uh, had a dove shoot this past weekend. Had a dove huh? shoot. Sure did. did really well with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And, uh, so those are some of the fundraisers that we have at Coosa Valley Academy. Uh, Sean, speak to parents this morning about why you think that uh, they should consider for their students Coosa Valley Academy, their children. Well, the, like I said, the main thing, you, you're going to get a good quality education first. And that's always, you know, the most important. But there are also lots of other opportunities. It's, you know, you're going to get some one-on-one. -on -one, you're going to get um, a chance to play sports. Mm -hmm. uh, and our, you know, our kids going to play. We've got a lot of kids, two or three last year, that received scholarships. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, play in college at the next level. So it's not too small for that. Uh, we also have... Very safe school, so that's you know that aspect of not having to worry about those sort of things. Uh, I heard a parent tell me at one point, uh, they say, you know, when I take my child to Coosa Valley, I know that 
everybody there is kind of taking care mm -hmm. of my child. It's not just I'm worried about this teacher, yeah. or that this one. That everybody's watching, and that they're being educated. They get to play ball. They get to do a little bit of all those things that you do any school you go to. But they're also part of a group that you know they'll, they'll take care of my kid. You know that takes a village to raise a child, and we've got that there. Yes, right. And you know if you want that village, you know that's that's what we have. And so that adds uh, a new aspect to the education process. And I think it's a great reason to come. You know when you look at public education and and private school education, Christian education, uh, there's so many pluses for. Uh, Coosa Valley Academy, uh, including the the teacher student ratio. But uh, when you look at, and I've had people say this to me, uh, we talk about the cost, and you have to look at the cost. But I've heard several people say, "Well, how important is your child?" Right. Mm -hmm. They're yes. the most valuable mm -hmm. asset you mm -hmm. have, and they you only have one time to raise them, and you know. There's a lot of wonderful public schools, sure. and they're absolutely wonderful in this area. But for me, as a parent and an educator, I chose to put that my child and everything that I, you know that we could afford into that school. I, a lot of our parents, you know, they do without for their kids to mm -hmm. go here because they said this is the most important. You know, th they're being it's raised. Our future. It's our entire mm -hmm. future, and yes. it's the our community future and it's our country future. So um, that's very important. I, everybody that comes there, and another thing that I think is wonderful and I want to touch on this was, you know, we have last year we had 36 seniors to graduate with over $1.5 million wow. in scholarships. Wow. Um, a lot of college look at private school students as a boost for their programs mm -hmm. because they have parents that have already sacrificed for them and that have already already promoted and um, been a part of their educational program and want to take them to the next level so that they know that these students will be successful in their colleges. That's a lot of scholarship dollars. Yes, it is. Wow. And it, uh, wonderful. And, you know, uh, they know when our Coosa Valley Academy Students come to their school. They're going to be successful with parents that will totally support them. Uh, one question that's, that's not on my uh, Q&A this morning <laughs> I wanted to uh, pose. Is, is there dress code yes. at the school? Can yes. you talk about that? Yes, we do not wear uniforms. Mm -hmm. um, just your basic everyday clothes. They are allowed to wear, uh, of course, jeans. Um, shorts three inches above their knees. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very good about following the dress code. Mm -hmm. um, we have no problems with dress code at all. There's, you know, we have, we don't have the need, Sean, mm -hmm. to have uniforms. I think a lot of times you have uniforms because people don't comply to your dress codes. Mm -hmm. um, but we're very fortunate that we don't have that issue. All right, uh, Sean, I was going to ask, uh, about your pajama wear yesterday, but I'll just leave that be. There's yeah, no well, <laughs> well, thank you both for coming this morning. Any any closing thoughts this morning as we're showcasing uh, Coosa Valley Academy at his homecoming week over in, in Harpersville and Pam Lovelady, the headmaster at the school, and Sean Baker, uh, the AD uh, at Coosa Valley Academy, home of the Rebels. And uh, a couple more moments, if you want to share something else, you've got the time to do it right now. Okay. Um, we would like to invite everyone out to come and visit our school. We we have a wonderful program there. It's um, a wonderful surprise when you walk in the door. You will see a um, lot of great students, um, just a wonderful family environment. As a parent of 25 years ago, I walked in and the burden was lifted for me to know where my students would grow, my children would grow up and be nurtured and taken care of and educated and go on to the next level in life. And if you have any questions, please call the school and we'd be happy to take you on a tour and make you part of our family. You got a Thank Facebook you. page or anything like that? Uh, oh, we do. And education. we have a website, which is coosavalleyacademy.org. Um, and we also have a PTA website, uh, Facebook, that can answer any questions, say that you might have as a parent that you want to talk to other parents. They do a really good job with that. And um, we're just really excited about our school, and we would love for you to be part of it. Quickly, Thank you. Sean, uh, the, from an athletic director's standpoint, uh, you're in charge <laughs> of all the, the sports. Uh, yeah. what, what is offered there? Uh, oh, yeah. We have, let's see, we have 
Of course, varsity football for boys. We have basketball, baseball, uh, soccer, uh, all for boys. And then for girls, we have volleyball, um, softball, girls basketball, uh, and soccer as well for girls. Cheerleading. Uh, and then we have cheerleading as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, so. good luck to the Rebels this weekend <laughs> and continued success. The Coosa Valley Academy, Pam Lovelady, the headmaster at Coosa Valley <laughs> Academy for 17 years. Yes, And sir. Sean Baker, who's a graduate of Coosa Valley Academy, he's come home and he's been here for some 20-something years teaching and nurturing mm -hmm. our young children. You need more information, contact our friends at Coosa Valley Academy. Thank you both for being Thank here this morning. So Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. More day break right after this.